We're just four months away from the November election, and the last day for measures to be filed is August 16th. Isabella Warren breaks down the new measures coming to the ballot. The Redmond School District announced phase two of their new construction and renovation of schools in the district by bringing a bond to the ballot. The bond is a renewal of the school district's previous bond back in 2021 that voters approved to help repair many of the school's pipes, HVAC systems, and buildings. Our funding for schools does not come from the state, it comes from bonds. So bonds are for building. So what we have right now is about $300 million worth of repairs that we have prioritized down into about uh, $97 million um, that are things we need to do. Uh, to one, to maintain what we have and to make sure that we don't have catastrophic fails. Redmond School District is asking for $2.26 per 1,000 assessed value, amounting to $97.7 million for the schools. And so I said we're not, not asking for all $300 million of that are on that list that need to be taken care of, uh, we've prioritized it into the most critical ones. Uh, so this one is really um, necessary to make those repairs. The second levy that could be coming to the November ballot is from the Deschutes Soil and Water Conservation District. It's the first levy from the group ever. This would allow us to really increase our capacity as a district. This would allow us to leverage this funding for additional funding this also would really get projects on the ground. The conservation district helps address natural resource concerns, assist farmers in water conservation, and reduce wildfire risk. They're asking for around $2.8 million by taxing residents 80 cents per thousand assessed value, totaling to about $19 a year. 400 voters were polled by the district ahead of the election to determine what the levy should be used for. Majority want the district to focus on water conservation and wildfire risk. No matter your feelings towards anything, conservation is a need, it's happening, it's apparent through the drought and helping private lands and all community members throughout Deschutes County is beneficial to everyone, whether or not it is your land or not. Now the Deschutes Soil and Water Conservation District will decide if the levy will be held to voters in November, but the Redmond School District bond will be on Redmond ballots. And of course, we'll have the update on that decision on the web story at ktvz.com. All right, here's the question. When is the deadline for voters to be registered? Very important, October 15th. All right, Isabella, thank you. Yeah.